So you know, the industry as a whole has evolved, and you know, more and more people are are looking to do uh, research with siRNA or mRNA, and it's becoming more widely available to have that synthesized for, for your gene of interest. And so we started to realize that the very early studies that people would want to start to do, where they're doing those in vitro, the benchtop instrument was simple, but it was just, it was making too much material. So the cost of synthesizing that much material uh, was expensive, and it wasn't necessary to make that much for those early experiments. So we set about to make something that would be just as easy to use, or not, if not easier, uh, but would be able to handle those smaller volumes that you would want in order to do an early screening experiment. In the same way that the other instruments do, the spark leverages microfluidic. It's been specifically tuned because it is a different method of action, so you're no longer injecting you know, from a syringe or a larger pump, uh, so the physics are quite different. Uh, so we've purposely developed microfluidics that will work with the workflow of the spark to give you the same results that you would see uh, on the benchtop instrument, on the blaze, or in the GMP system. Our validated applications for the Spark right now are specifically for LMP, so lipid nanoparticles, in genetic research. So if you are if you're a group looking to do either validation of siRNAs or mRNAs, or research uh, with gene knockdown or, or gene function, uh, the Spark is the perfect instrument for that. Also groups who are working in that field who are looking to tune uh, or test different lipid systems, uh, the Spark is a great platform for starting that work. For more information on the NanoSembler platform, visit precisionnanosystems.com.